Hello, awesome artists. Today we are going to be making a fuzzy furry polar bear. So I've got my piece of paper on my messy mat and I chose blue, but you could choose a different color if you want. On the back, I'm going to write my name with a pencil and I'm gonna flip it over. Now I'm going to choose a white colored pencil. You could use a crayon too. And I'm going to draw an oval pretty big in the center of my paper. If you're not sure what an oval looks like, it looks like a circle somebody stretched out. So, or like an egg shape. I'm gonna practice with my finger a couple times. If I make it too small, I won't be able to see the polar bear's face. So I'm gonna make it pretty big on my paper. That looks good to me. Here we go with my white colored pencil. Awesome, I made my oval. Now I'm going to make the polar bear's shoulder. So it's gonna come down from the bottom of my oval, boop, and then I'm gonna to touch the bottom of my paper. So it's a curvy line. And one on this side too. And now I'm gonna make the polar bear's ears. So the polar bears have rounder ears. If they were a cat, then I would probably make the ears pointy, but they're not, they're polar bear. They have rounder ears. So see how they're not perfect? That's okay. I just need to get the general shape. So once I've done that, I'm ready to paint. I'm gonna grab my paint tray and I'm using my sponge today because I want my polar bear to be furry furry. So I'm gonna dip, dip, dip my sponge in my paint. I can wipe a little off if it's too much. There we go. And I'm gonna paint all inside my circles, right, with the lines that I made. So I'm gonna paint inside my polar bear's face. I can get a little outside the lines, that's okay. It just shows that the polar bear is furry. I'm not super, super duper worried about it. And I'm just gonna go up and down and up and down. If I were to take my paint and slide it, it would make a streaky mark. And we don't really want streaky marks, we want fuzzy, furry marks. So that's where we're going up and down and up and down and up and down. And I'm gonna take my time, and I'm gonna fill in my whole polar bear. All right, I'm pretty much done. This is all we can do today. We've gotta to let the paint dry before we add all the details. So once you are all done painting in your polar bear shape, please put it on the drying rack and then you can clean up your space. These sponges should go in the dirty bucket. 